Good day and uh, welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, I'm doing a presentation on uh, how to deploy cloud stack uh, with Chef. Uh, the idea comes to uh, the reason why the, the idea of deploying um, cloud stack using Chef uh, within cloud stack was for uh, mainly dev environment and uh, ability to test uh, new version of cloud stack feature and being able to deploy um, cloud stack the same fashion on production environment and test environment. So uh, that's pretty much the overview for today. Uh, the, 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 the objective of the presentation will run a demo uh, while presenting uh, what the cookbook is doing in background uh, in terms of, of configuration to CloudStack. Um, about CloudOps, CloudOps is a small company in Montreal that we do uh, manage services and uh, operate uh, cloud build out of a CloudStack. Um, it's a company that has uh, close to uh, 10 years uh, of, ex uh, of existence now. So um, it's, a, it's a good place to, to work for. <laughs> and uh, yeah, why we did uh, create that, uh, that uh, chef uh, cookbook at first uh, was really to uh, be able to uh, install CloudStack uh, easily and uh, every time at the, the same way uh, for production environment as well as for test. Um, the, uh, it, it's really to uh, unify the way of uh, deploying them. It's not that it's really complicated to follow the documentation of CloudStack to install it manually. It's just a way of doing it and forget the, uh, all the subtlety when you install it and having to uh, download system template and uh, things like that. Everything's get handled by Chef. So uh, in this demo, what uh, I'll deploy is really start from uh, vanilla um, CentOS 6 VM and uh, we'll in provision the MySQL server, install CloudStack, uh, download um, the uh, system template for a Zen server environment We'll also pre-configure the, the secondary storage NFS shared from that VM. Um, in the background also, because it's a VM within CloudStack, what we're doing is that uh, the, uh, the CentOS template has a small OS uh, root disk. So we're creating a data drive that will get formatted and mounted uh, into slash data to that VM. And, uh, it's going to be served as the secondary storage uh, from that VM. I am also do some funny things like installing CloudMonkey uh, for the root account and also generating the API key for the administrator user. So for future use of automating the deployment of the configuration within CloudStack, such as playing with um, global settings and um, creating zones eventually either by automated way of uh, maybe CloudStack, uh, maybe with Chef or other tools such as uh, CloudMonkey or other various script uh, with the API. So um, that's gonna be a future stuff, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm using uh, the Yum repo uh, as the main repo for that demo. It's gonna use the CloudStack one uh, or maybe an internal one to speed up the process. I'm not sure, but uh, um, so yeah, so uh, I think I talked about that already. <laughs> so uh, let's start. So what I'm doing is that I'm using Knife uh, Cloud Stack as a plugin, uh, which uh, from which I'm firing up a new CentOS VM within Cloud Stack, and from there I'm gonna assign the basic role. Uh, to my VM that will pre-configure my data drive. Uh, and uh, I have a role as a CloudStack node that will configure database, install CloudStack, and uh, prepare a few things. I'm also specifying from that command line on which zone of my cloud I'm creating the VM, uh, the, the service type that I'm selecting to it, uh, how I'm managing uh, the root account uh, for that VM, uh, and the disk offering for the data drive. So I'm gonna fire up that, uh, that 
that script that's going to run in background because it takes like uh, between 10 to 15 minutes to get uh, all the chef run executed. Uh, so far, what it's taking time is not really the chef work that's running background. It's more like downloading uh, the, send, uh, the uh, cloud stack packages and then the time that it takes to download the uh, system VM images that take most of that time, uh, which explain why it's not taking like two minutes to get uh, cloud stack up and running because it would be that fast if package would be already local to the, the VM basically. So uh, that's pretty much the same command that was shown on the slide. I'm gonna fire it up and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So here is the uh, process that's going to run in the background. Oop, I guess it's fail. That's a real demo. So. <laughs> um, okay, let, me, uh, let me check something quickly. So because I'm doing that remotely on a VPN, so uh, maybe the, the demo is going to fail, but uh, I know it worked. So. <laughs> Ah, that's it, that's why. Thank you. <laughs> so, so basically, yeah. <laughs> Come to our booth, we'll have a t-shirt. Um, so basically what is gonna run in background is that uh, I will start, I will create a, a CentOS VM in two cloud stack that will have a data drive. Uh, for that case, it's uh, 64 gigs of uh, a data drive. It could be bigger, it's just that uh, it takes time to uh, format the file system, so I just shrink it for the demo. And uh, afterward, there is the chef bootstrap the process that's gonna install the chef client, uh, push all the config to that chef client, and then it will uh, configure basic uh, OS stuff for SNMP, NTP, uh, ba basic uh, si things like uh, for the, o the OS. And then uh, I'm preparing the uh, data drive, installing a MySQL server with the, uh, the, the community co cookbook. Um, and then I'm pre-configuring the uh, export of the NFS uh, from that VM for the uh, secondary storage. There is also uh, a primary storage NFS export that I'm doing uh, if I would like to use the primary storage as well, but in this case it wouldn't make sense because it would be very slow as a primary storage. Um, and then I'm installing CloudStack with uh, the uh, RPM package and a YUM repo. Uh, I'm initializing the uh, CloudStack database with the regular uh, script uh, provided by the instruction. Uh, all parameters can be uh, tuned, such as the uh, cloud uh, user and password um, that is within the configuration of uh, CloudStack. Everything is uh, as attributes um, within Chef. So uh, a lot of things can be customized from uh, the cookbook uh, for the moment. Um, afterward, uh, I'm setting up the database, download the system template. Those can be uh, defined with attributes where uh, if I'm running KVM, then I could quite easily update attributes to download the latest um, KVM uh, system template. Um, right now, I'm gonna install 4.3, CloudStack 4.3, but since depending on the version of CloudStack, there is different um, system template VM, then it's a matter of updating uh, the uh, attribute depending on the version you're installing. Um, I'm generating uh, the admin API keys uh, for, it was some kind of a challenge that I wanted to do uh, from the chef side, but uh, eventually it's gonna be re reused probably for uh, using the same cookbook but with more, uh, more feature to uh, pre-configure zones 
uh, maybe uh, upload also a default service offering that we don't like uh, from the default installation, uh, disk offering, and uh, a bunch of uh, configuration within CloudStack. And uh, I'm also installing CloudMonkey uh, as a root and uh, from for the root user. So if we have uh, already some script in place uh, from CloudMonkey, everything is ready to to be used. Um, there is some dependency for uh, doing uh, things like uh, the running CloudStack within CloudStack uh, with Chef, like uh, for this one, which is uh, to have Knife CloudStack. Uh, which allow me to create VM just with Knife. Uh, that's quite interesting when it comes to automating a deployment of a, of a VM in cloud, uh, in cloud stack uh, with Chef. Um, I'm using also the notion of uh, environment in Chef. Uh, I'm using that to, um, to provide the attribute specific to an environment. So uh, I, this way I'm able to have multiple, uh, I could I could have uh, isolated MySQL database into a node, and I wouldn't have to worry about his host name because uh, I'm using search uh, in Chef. Um, so that way, I'm, uh, I don't know the host name of my MySQL server because I'm going to do some searching on who's my MySQL server, and I'll grab attributes from there and uh, be able to uh, create configuration to uh, CloudStack. Um, there is also, uh, by using environment, uh, it allows me to have, let's say I want redundancy on the CloudStack um, service or the, the CloudStack um, application. Um, I can run multiple uh, VM, uh, CloudStack VM, and they, they will know that there is already an, a database uh, that has been configured, so I'm not gonna create a second database uh, of cloud stack, and I'm going to have a redundancy uh, on the application level. Uh, the MySQL layer for replication uh, is a separate topic uh, in its own, so I'm not uh, discussing uh, about uh, the uh, MySQL layer if you want HA on that part, because it could be a cluster, master slave, whatever. So it's more uh, up to you. So that's a uh, configuration example that it's required for an environment. It's quite basic, actually. Uh, I mean, uh, um, it's really uh, the, the objective of the environment is just to isolate uh, the installation. So, so for uh, the same cloud, uh, I can spin up multiple cloud stack environment. Uh, the thing is that they will be isolated into their own environment within Chef. So for a dev environment, I can run uh, like uh, maybe, let's say, five uh, cloud stack installation. They will all have their own MySQL database, so I can do some pre some test uh, of uh, maybe a new new feature in CloudStack, uh, special type of configuration. I can do it uh, within a CloudStack environment. I can uh, delete, destroy it afterward. Um, so um, here is uh, the uh, configuration of the role for CloudStack. Um, because um, I did not uh, configure the default recipe of CloudStack to execute everything because uh, things has to be modular uh, because I want to reuse that uh, cookbook for production environment into a production environment. Uh, it's not going to be like for uh, a lab, in, um, a test environment where everything will run within the same VM. So I want to reuse those, uh, the same cookbook uh, for the production, so uh, things need to, to be modular, and by uh, doing it with roles so far, it, it, it worked well. Apparently, uh, some people uh, are not using role uh, with Chef, and they are more uh, using um, kind of a, another cookbook that wrap uh, recipes together and do the, uh, the handling of uh, um, the, 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 let's say, the um, the, the order that uh, recipe get executed. Um, so these things can be customized, uh, customized afterward. Um, so it's a cookbook that is under development. Uh, so there is a lot of things that are uh, still missing on it. 
Uh, I had some input that um, there is some uh, interest on having uh, support to Debian since uh, uh, Apache Cloud Stack, uh, you can uh, also get package from Debian uh, to run them on Ubuntu or uh, whatever. Uh, so the, uh, in the future release of the, the cookbook, I will probably add support to uh, Debian package. Also, there, was, uh, there is some interest on um, having the ability to build environment with Chef, but also from the Git repo. Uh, so for people that work on maybe the master branch or uh, the newer branch, uh, having the ability that with Chef create those dev environments. So I will probably do it, do work on that, uh, but uh, the, it's not clear yet how would, how would be the approach, but it's kind of an interesting challenge, I think. Uh, on the, uh, for, uh, as a chef uh, user. Um, and next step will be probably to do more automation on the configuration of CloudSack itself uh, from the chef uh, perspective. So eventually it would, uh, I may come up with, uh, with the ability of creating a zone within CloudStack and manage uh, some CloudStack configuration within, uh, within chef. Um, I've already started doing some script uh, instead of using the UI when it comes to, um, to create zone. Uh, I know that a lot of people are using uh, Maven or Marvin, uh, that is uh, the, all the Python the script collection to create uh, zones and uh, pods. Uh, anyway. Um, so kind of a challenge that I faced by developing that uh, Chef Cookbook was that kind of cool to have everything into a single uh, instance, but um, into a production environment. I may want to uh, create new uh, um, cloud stack instance. And um, the, um, I may want to uh, add new uh, cloud stack application, but without either wiping the existing database or creating a new one. So in Chef, there's the notion of search and tags that I'm using uh, these days uh, for the moment on the, the cookbook. So when I'm spinning up a second uh, CloudStack uh, VM, it's gonna look if the database already been initiated, and if it does, what is IP address, and it create the configuration for the Tomcat, uh, the, uh, the, the, the DB, uh, dot file for, uh, for CloudStack. So um, make things kind of, a, the, then it give the ability to scale kind of things, the uh, CloudStack application. Um, so uh, when everything has been run uh, from the, the, the uh, bootstrap of the VM, uh, usually, well, we end up with a CloudStack environment that is ready to be uh, configured. So next step is really to create an hypervisor, uh, configure the, prepare the uh, hypervisor level, and then start the, cloud, the, uh, the new zone configuration within the, that uh, cloud stack. Uh, define how you uh, expect to run the primary storage because uh, we're not providing the primary storage necessarily from uh, the, uh, that VM and uh, do your basic configuration or tuning uh, within CloudStack. Uh, service uh, maybe uh, on the global setting, uh, service offering, stuff like that. So uh, at the end, the idea is that with the, the same cookbook, with the, with the same method of installing CloudStack, uh, we're able at CloudOps to provide the uh, dev environment for uh, people that contributing to CloudStack, but also for environment that we deliver to our customer and uh, test environment uh, to do some QA on CloudStack. We are all using the same installation method and uh, make things easy, uh, uh, easier than always having to do it manually. Um, it also support the, um, the multiple VM instead of uh, the single one uh, as we have now. So, um, so the, yeah, it's pretty much what I said, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see if the demo is uh, still running. So I don't know if, uh, 
Everybody is familiar with Chef, but that's uh, kind of the output that Chef providing when it runs for uh, the first time. Um, so it explains, uh, we can see uh, a lot of uh, all the output that's going on. So apparently it's not done yet. <laughs> And uh, so if you want to try those cookbooks, they are available on GitHub. Uh, so if you want some fix and things like that, there's a, they're easy to fork. And uh, they are also available in the uh, Upscode community cookbooks. Um, right now, I think there is it's the only Cloud Stack cookbook uh, on the community cookbook. Uh, um, I heard that there, there was some, uh, there is other cook, uh, Chef cookbook for CloudStack uh, on GitHub. Uh, I, I never tried the, them because uh, when, when I start working on that, I preferred to create my own cookbook uh, because I, in the same time, I kind of understand how um, CloudStack get installed and all the uh, installation subtility. Um, there's, we had also, uh, we have also a blog post uh, in our website where we have more uh, information on getting up to speed uh, uh, on installing uh, Cloud Stack with Chef. Uh, apparently, we're doing a survey, so if you're a Cloud Stack user, uh, it would be interesting to see uh, the way you're using Cloud Stack uh, in your uh, environment. And uh, for those that don't know, uh, there is a party tonight, uh, so it could be interesting. Uh, so it's tonight at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, at the lobby here at the entrance. Uh, we'll go somewhere, I don't know where. Uh, so that's there. <laughs> huh? Ah, nice. So um, in theory, if I cut and paste that IP address, I should have um, an, uh, a cloud stack running. So I'm going to test that. Still loading, so it's the first time. So, so yeah, seems like it worked. <laughs> so afterward, well, we just have to start the configuration within CloudStack and do our test or deploy a production environment. Depends on on the need. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you very much. I don't know if anybody has question. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, one second. I assume you're doing this in a in a you're doing cloud stack on cloud stack, right? You know, yeah. you're like putting this um, and and you're thinking about doing different virtual machines and like creating like a test bed or something so you can deploy you know the node in one place instead of one in one place, right? But yeah, really, the, the idea of deploying CloudStack and CloudStack is because internally we have a cloud uh, out of CloudStack and we're using Chef for automation. And let's say I want to test uh, because it's now it's like in 4.2.1 and I want to test 4.3 and even the test uh, from 4.2.1 to 4.3, then I'm going to set up a, dev envir a test environment with, those, uh, with Chef. I'm going to set up a CloudStack installation. I'm going to populate it create a zone and then do the upgrade and make sure that it's not going to break all our system. Uh, that's the basic idea. I can just uh, use Chef and not CloudStack under the hood and uh, install uh, Chef uh, where, wherever. It's not uh, important to, to, to do it uh, inside the CloudStack. It's just fun. <laughs> so um, you, you use uh, Chef instead of Puppet because Chef is something you use internally, correct? 
Yeah. Because Puppet has m more support for this kind of uh, this kind of cloud stack and open stack. I'm saying this because I, I actually did the same thing with Amazon EC2 and open stack. So okay. I, I just like uh, launch and create VPCs, you know, and like, uh, you know, install, and now I'm thinking about this doing the same for cloud stack. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know. For Puppet, uh, you, you, you are saying? Or what's that? To develop an uh, installation process with Puppet? or uh? Yeah, because it's the same, you know, like I will just use the, the part of the code which creates, spins the end nodes in, open, in, in Amazon EC2, right? Okay. And then deploy OpenStack, you know. I have already, I've already done that, right? So uh, now I want to do the same with CloudStack, you know. In, ah, okay. So that's why I came. But, uh, you know, I'm, uh, the question is was, was why you use Chef instead of Puppet, but now you give me the ah, answer. So. Well, yeah. It's because we're using uh, mostly Chef, but everything can be done, even uh, whatever, salt stack or uh, Ansible, uh, it's not like a, a big problem. Uh, we start using uh, Chef like uh, two years ago, and uh, we kind of love it, so uh, we kind of adopt it. Thanks. Any more questions? No? I think yes. The Marvin, uh, Marvin framework already has a, a capability to install the cloud stack and also set up the cloud stack, right? So why you wanted to have this solution? I am, I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, no, if you see the Apache cloud stack, uh, 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 some. Uh, no, if, if you see the Apache cloud stack uh, page, and there we have uh, some steps to uh, install and configure cloud stack using Marvin framework. So. Um, uh, like any reason for uh, coming up with this uh, solution using Chef? Uh, sorry, I just don't understand the question. Is there any reason to use Chef? You mean? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Why? Why uh, Chef is required when we already have a solution uh, based on Marvin? Ah, uh, uh, you mean to create uh, the zone, create uh, all those stuff? Uh, really, and, uh, I don't I, know. I, Sorry, I, I think you mean the, the, the development process of CloudStack itself where Maven is used. And, but he uses it in Opera. Mm -hmm. But you are using it in your operational environment to deploy it. So that's a different case. The, yeah, the, the idea behind the, the, the objective of using Chef to install CloudStack even for a dev environment is really to have a single installation procedure. So I'm installing for, uh, of course, if you're contributing to code, uh, the, the, it has to be different than for that. But for if you, the, the idea is just to unify the way we're installing it for test purposes and everything. So even for installing it for a production environment, it's going to be the same process. Uh, so eventually for upgrade of those environment and things like that, then it's going to be all the same way, so it's just one procedure that people have to know at, uh, let's say, for us at CloudUps, instead of one with Maven and another one with a Chef or production environment. That was really the objective on doing it with Chef. No more? Okay, thank you, Pierre-Luc. Thank you very much.